Okay, so let's add some audio to a video track using FFmpeg. So if I just ls, you can see I've got these files here. So I've got some video files and some audio files. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some audio to this file here. So cars no audio. So let's just play that. And you can see that there's no audio. And it is about or exactly one minute long. So let's just quit that. So just remember that that file is one minute long, just for future reference. You'll see why in a minute. So let's add Sunrise Drive to that video file. So FFmpeg, and our first input file is gonna be cars-no audio. And our second input file is gonna be Sunrise Drive. And then what we're gonna do, because we don't want FFmpeg to transcode these files, we just wanna keep them as they are, as MP3 audio within an MPEG4 container is perfectly fine. We're gonna do dash C colon V copy. So we're gonna copy the video and we're gonna do dash C colon A and copy the audio. So no transcoding is needed. We can also do this in a shorthand way, which I'll just do now. So we don't need to actually do C colon A or C colon V. We can just do dash C and then copy. And then all we need to do is provide our output file. So let's call it output.mp4 and hit enter and we're done. So if I just clear the screen and ls, you can see we have output.mp4. And if I play that with mpv, so output.mp4, you can see it now has audio. So if I just pause that and let's just skip ahead, you'll see that our clip is now a lot longer than one minute. So it's about two minutes and 45 seconds long. So let's just quit that. Actually, let's reopen that and let's just play it from just before one minute. So let's just go down to like here. So you can see that the video stops, but the audio continues to play. Now there's an option we can use in FFmpeg to basically cut the video at whichever file is the shortest or whichever stream is the shortest. So if our audio was shorter than our video, FFmpeg will cut our video short and cut the whole file short and vice versa. So let's just run our FFmpeg command again. And the option that we need to use is dash shortest. And if we hit enter and yes to replace our previous file, and then let's just ls and let's play this new file with mpv so mpv output and let's just skip it ahead so you can see that our audio and our video now stop at the same time so what if we wanted to add another audio file or another audio track to our video? Well, we can do that as well. So let's this time use our output.mp4 as an input file. So let's just clear the screen and ls. So ffmpeg dash i output and let's use cat circus. So dash i cat circus. And let's just do the same thing again. So dash c copy and let's call it output2.mp4. And let's remember to put in our shortest option, so dash shortest, and that should do. So let's see what happens when we do this. So everything seemed to work. Let's just ls, we've got our file. So let's try and play that with mpv. So mpv output2. Everything seems fine, so let's pause it. If you notice down here, we've only got one audio track. So if we just change that to no audio, there's no audio, and there's our original song, but we don't have Cat Circus added. So let's have a look at what's going on. So let's just ls again, and let's do ffmpeg dash i output two, and you can see that yes, we only have one audio stream, which is here. So what happened to the one that we tried to add? Well, by default, if a video doesn't have an audio stream, FFmpeg will handle that. But if it does already have an audio stream, even a silent audio stream, it won't automatically add your other audio stream. So there is a proper way to do this. Let's just clear the screen and we're gonna have to use the map option. So FFmpeg, actually let's just ls first and FFmpeg dash i output, .mp4. So there's our first output file and let's add another input file. So dash i and it's cat circus. So that hasn't changed and we're going to do dash c copy all the same. But now what we're going to do is we're going to use map. So what map does is it allows us to select a specific stream 
from each of our inputs and map it to our output. So if that doesn't make sense, it all will. So let's just do it. So our first mapping is dash map zero colon zero. Our second one is going to be dash map zero colon one. And our third mapping is going to be dash map one colon zero. So what does that all mean? Well, the first number in our map indicates the first input to FFmpeg. So just remember that these start from zero. So our zero input to FFmpeg is actually our output.mp4 file. And the zero stream within this container is our video file. So this is basically saying the video file of our first file here. And then our second mapping is again, file zero, which is our first input file. So this one, and we want stream one, which is the audio stream within here. And then our third mapping is file one. So that's the second input, because remember these start from zero and we want stream zero. And as this is just an MP3 audio file, stream zero should be our audio. Now the ordering of these mappings actually does matter. So in our new file that we're going to create, the first stream is going to be video. The first audio stream is going to be the original audio from this clip. And our second audio stream is going to be our cat circus MP3 file. So if we change these around, so Let's move our cat audio to be the first audio stream. So one, zero, so file one, stream zero. And then our last one is going to be the original audio. So that was file zero, stream one. And then let's just not forget our shortest option. So dash shortest. And then our output file. So output two dot MP4. And let's hit enter and see what happens. Okay, so yes, we want to replace that file. So yes, and we're done. Or are we? So let's have a look. We have our file. So if we play it now, you would expect it to play Cat Circus as that is the first audio stream in that file. So let's try that. So MPV output two. And it's playing the original audio. So let's see if our cat circus music has been added. So it looks like we've got two audio streams, but it's playing the second audio stream by default. So let's just flip that to the first one and play. Flip to the second. So our audio has been added and it is added as the correct stream, but players are not picking it up as the first audio file to play. So let's quit this and let's look at this file using FFmpeg. So FFmpeg dash i and it was output two. So if we have a look at the audio streams, which are down here, so stream two, which is our second audio stream, you'll see that it has this tag here. So default, whereas our first audio stream doesn't have that. So that's the reason why our second stream is being picked up by players and being played instead of the first stream. So we can fix that and make our first stream default. So let's do that first. So let's clear this. Let's go back to our previous FFmpeg command. And what we need to do is add an option here. So let's just add one here just before shortest. And it's dash disposition colon A, so audio, colon zero. So we're selecting our zero audio stream and we want to mark that as default. So default. So if we run this now, and overwrite it. So let's just clear the screen in LS and let's just use FFmpeg this time. So FFmpeg dash I output two. And let's have a look at the streams. So you can see our first audio stream, which is this one here, which is the cat circus music is marked as default now, but so is our second audio stream. So let's see how MPV handles that. So MPV output two, and it should play the cat circus music because that is the first default audio stream. So let's have a look. And it does. And let's switch over to stream two. Everything seems to be working fine, but it's probably not good practice to leave our second track marked as default. So we can actually fix that if we just run the same command again with another modification. So this time, we don't want to target the first audio stream. We want to target the second audio stream and we want to get rid of default. So let's try leaving this blank and see what happens. 
and yes, and we get an error. So it says unable to pass option value shortest. So we have to put something in there. And as far as I know, there is no specific option that will allow you to mark that as null or remove something. But what we could do is just use a blank comment. So if we just go here and we just type in comment, that should work. So let's hit enter and overwrite the file. And let's just check it out with FFmpeg to see if that change has worked. So FFmpeg dash I output two. And you can see that our second audio stream is no longer marked as default, but our first one is. So let's just make sure nothing broke and just play this with MPV. So clear the screen and LS. So MPV output two. And it seems to work fine. So everything seems to work fine. So just one last thing, if we just have a look at our FFmpeg command and let's just get rid of our disposition stuff. So get rid of this. And just one last thing, for the codec, you don't actually have to copy it. You can actually set your own video codec and audio codec and FFmpeg will happily transcode your original files to whatever you want to output them as. Okay, so that's how to add audio to video using FFmpeg. I hope you found it useful. If you think I've missed anything out, please drop it in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. So thanks for watching and goodbye.